Good morning. It's me, David, and I'd like to welcome you back to Life with Parkinson's. Thank you for taking the time to watch. It's first thing in the morning. I just woke up. I woke up like eight minutes ago. Right now it's like almost six o'clock in the morning, and today we're going to spend the day together, as much of the day together as we can. But I just wanted to show you something that happens once in a while when I wake up. I've had a really good sleep. I've slept over eight hours. I can get up and walk perfectly in the first thing in the morning. Like, no problems. It's been a very frustrating day. It's two o'clock now. I took my pills at one. I'm finally experiencing some on time. <clears throat> I had a little bit of on time after breakfast where I was able to clean the kitchen up and do a little bit of dishes. And so I think I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. Not been a very good day. I don't know why. You're welcome. Hey, Kimi Kimi. Say hi to life with Parkinson's. Hello. Kimi Kimi. She's more interested in the toast. She's a conure bird, like a small South American parrot, one of the smallest ones. Mm -hmm. We got her about four years ago, and she's turned into a good little friend. There was something else I wanted to bring up before I forget, and that is opportunities that Parkinson's gives you. You know, Parkinson's has given me this opportunity to make a YouTube channel that I never had. So what opportunity has it created for you? Is there like a hobby you always wanted to do? Is there a book series that you wanted to watch? Uh, somewhere you wanted to travel to if you're able to travel? We can get so bogged down in the Parkinson's and the anxiety and believe me I got tons of it right now. There's always some sort of silver lining in our problem. I, I truly believe that with all my heart that somewhere even though things are really really bad some good that can come out of it and really, everything has changed from my regular routine. Sometimes I, I get a lot of anxiety and I don't really know why. Today's on time total by 2 p.m. is like less than two hours. I'm gonna take it easy, try and get out for another walk, and yeah, let's pick this up tomorrow. If you're enjoying this content, I ask you to hit the like button. That is the best way for this video to spread to more people. I've got to say I don't know what happened, but this week's video just didn't seem to turn out the way I wanted it to. My plan was to do a video about pacing yourself through the day, and it just did not happen. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I tried to film yesterday. About the last few weeks since I did my Do I Look Like a Shoplifter video, I just haven't felt the same. Like, I just haven't felt right. You know, I, every day I've had overwhelming anxiety. Like, anxiety that's just, like, pushing me into the ground. And I finally figured out why. Is it just took me so long to get to get over that experience like i thought making the video and getting everything off my chest would would do it but it didn't you know being accused of shoplifting it went beyond everything about myself it made me lose my confidence i've always been a strong independent male you know just if i have a problem just power right through it but with parkinson it doesn't work that way like, I just can't power my way through things. My brain has changed a little bit. W without that self-made dopamine, and I'm very grateful for the dopamine tablets that they've given us, but without that actual real tailored-to-yourself dopamine, things are different. Like, uh, I, I know they're different. Like, I know I see the world differently now. You know, I, I'm, still, I'm still the person that I am. You know, I'll always be Dave. Because dopamine controls, you know, so many things in our lives, like our, our bodies, our emotions, probably more than we realize. Having that synthetic dopamine just changes everything enough that everything becomes skewered. Like, I'm just not able to see reality in the way, like, my wife does. So I'm like, so I'm constantly checking her with her is, hey, this video idea I have coming up, does it work? Hey, this, I'm thinking about this situation this way, does that make sense? And then, you know, just being 
being not really thrown to the ground, but just in that situation where it's like, no, I wasn't stealing. I wasn't even thinking about it. And it's just that change in reality. You know, like in the cartoon when an anvil falls on your head and it was kind of like that and just trying to pick yourself up from that. It just took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. So uh, this weekend's video on pacing yourself didn't come through, but I've kept some of it because I think some of the parts are important. I know who I was and I know who I am and I know that I can regain that sense of confidence in myself because without it I can't be the person who I am. I always think about Captain Kirk and the original Captain Kirk in Star Trek. He's like, I need my pain. It makes me who I am. I need my Parkinson. It makes me who I am. And I know I can have confidence in myself because I, I see the vision of what I want for this channel. I, I see creating that place where someone with Parkinson's can go in. And there's a lot of great other sites out there. You know, there's a lot of other great channels and there's a lot of other great information out there. You know, my channel is not going to be like the channel that everyone should go. I think there should be lots of voices contributing to the conversation regarding Parkinson's. I want people to come to my channel and just see a little bit of Dave and hopefully I can give them a little bit of the experience of what Parkinson's is like. And it's very confusing. Especially when you're drowning in, in anxiety for two weeks. And the last couple of weeks have just been really, really bad for the anxiety. And yesterday I was just exhausted. By the time five or six o'clock rolled around, the anxiety had been with me all day. And it, I was drowning in it. And I went to bed and I woke up around midnight to go pee. And I was just like... I've got to talk to my wife. So thankfully I heard her rummaging around in her bedroom. And so I texted her. I said, can you please come talk for a little bit? I'm, I'm ready to stop being afraid. I'm ready to stop running and hiding to stand up for who I am. Others stood up to protect me, but you know, I need to follow their lead and, and know that I, I'm in a safe place, right? If I fall down again, others will pick me up again. And that's the confidence I need. That that's what I've been searching for. I'm so used to being like the leader of my family. I need to put myself in a new situation. I need to acknowledge my disability, which obviously is my Parkinson's, but I need to put myself in a, a co-leading fashion where, you know, I can lead for a little bit and help pick others up. But I need to be able to be like, yes, I know I'm going to fall down. I know I'm going to have problems. It's part of Parkinson's. I need to adopt that mentality that it's okay to fall down. It's okay to let others pick me up. It's something I need to get used to and it's something I need to be comfortable with. And that, that's what's bothered me since this situation is, I never knew how to do that. I never knew how to let myself fall down and let others pick me up. I'm so used to being able, no, I got this. I, in fact, I got everything. I don't need any help at all from any of you. And it's so isolating when I did that, but I need to be comfortable with others picking me up and others helping me along, others fighting battles for me that I'm not able to fight with that new mentality and that new confidence. Carry on the vision that I see with life with Parkinson. There's certain things I want to share with you and there's certain things that I want to tell you about because I understand and hopefully together we can understand this crazy life called life with Parkinson's. Yeah, I just want to thank you for watching and letting me be part of your life and thank you for letting yourselves be part of my life. I hope we can take this journey together and let me know in the comments below what you think. Like what you think about problems that just last a little bit longer than we think they do. You know, problems that you think you've solved and they haven't gone away. Let me, tell me about a story like that. Tell me about a story where you think a problem had been dealt with and had gone away but was just lingering in the background just to torture you. Let's Let's take this journey together and I hope to see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.